welcome once again guys i hope you all enjoyed the intro video you just watched the video you just watched is to set our mind on the course outline for what we'll be considering for the next seven days now in this video i'll be showing you how to set up your business manager ad account i will be use, making use of my chrome browser if you are using an iPhone, you can make it with Safari, but it's advisable you use your Chrome. So because of this class, I actually create a new Facebook account because a lot of persons before now always said when they use a new account, it gets blocked sometimes. But it's because, I don't know, maybe they are doing one or two things the wrong way. You know, Facebook is a business. So if you are doing anything illegal or anything that is against their policy, you are bound to get blocked out. So let's follow these procedures step by step. First, we assess the website business.facebook.com. All right, now if you are a first timer, it's going to show you this very interface. Okay, so when you log in, this is the first thing it's going to show you. Now you are expected to create an account. So you come over here and click create an account. Now this account you are going to create, mind you, you are creating the business account that you personally will be using to run ad for yourself and to also run ad for your client so please make sure the information you are putting in here is a legit information so you are expected to put your name you can see my name is already there then the business your business account name so we're using Jizion dynamic concept then the email you can use the email you actually use in opening the Facebook account or use a valid email that you know you can get notification from okay please use a valid email on this on this aspect When you are done with that, click on submit. All right, now you see the confirmation message. So I'm just going to check my email to confirm my account. Let me go over to my email. So I'm going to confirm this. All right, beautiful. Now we are inside our business manager account. Okay, so this is where all the ad set is going to take place. This is where everything you need to set up a profitable organic ad definitely will take place. Now, there are some of these 
options I want you to understand. Now, yet initially I I talked about Facebook Pixel. We can actually integrate that using this data source. But first, let me just quickly put you guys through on what these users actually mean. Now, these users, it means if you want to add other persons to be part of this your account, to also manage your account with you, then you could use people and you add more people. Now, right here, I have just myself. I can now add other persons persons by searching for their names then click on add to add them to this place now for these partners if you want to run an ad for someone you can just click and add on add the person as an asset okay to your business manager but please please do not use do not use add a partner to share assets. Please always use a request. Okay? There is a code you you get from your from your client. That's a page code. Okay? Then you can add it here. Because if you click partner to share assets and you add from here, they are giving the person a permanent um, permission to your page. Or rather still just tell the person to make you an admin to his or her page. That way is quite very easy for you. For these system users, don't worry, you don't need that. Then pages, your account page, then this ad account, that is where we want to set up an ad. Okay? Then Instagram account for apps, you don't need that. You don't have an app you, you want to run add on. Instagram account you can link this your Facebook account to your Instagram account if you have one But currently I don't have an Instagram page for this So line of business you can add your WhatsApp account right here Now let's come down to this data source So you see this pixel is what we actually want to integrate that I was talking about So I'm just going to click add. So this is my pixel name. Then I'm going to input my website address that I want to integrate this pixel for. So I will use my website. Then you click on continue. Yeah, they are asking if you are ready to set up your pixel. You just have to click set up your pixel now or you continue managing your business. But let us set up the pixel right away. Now, on this aspect, you are expected to choose one out of the three options on how to integrate a pixel in your website. I don't know the websites you might be using from your end, but most especially if you're making use of WordPress, WordPress has a plugin that you can just install from your WordPress back end of your website and it will be connected to your Facebook okay so for me i'm using a landing page from a different site so i'm going to go with the option manually add pixel code to website let me see if that will work because if the website is not in facebook list it might be difficult okay so let me make use of that option to see if i will be able to set up my pixel Alright, so I'm going to use this option 2, which is manually, to add my pixel manually, 
all right so i'm going to input my pixel code manually here is my code this id you can see it's showing a red icon so all i need to do is just to copy then i will head over to where i built my site from All right, so over on, on this very part, I'm going to paste my pizza code right here. So depend on the site you are making use of, you can get your pizza code, then paste it here. okay um so sorry i think the, it didn't work on the website i actually used because if we actually went through this red on the account we should turn to green if it has been connected successfully okay so uh i will only show you guys how the pixel operates let's assume it has actually been connected all right so having done that You'll be able to run a conversion ad and you'll be able to know the people that actually click on the action button that is on your site now this is what pixel actually works for let's see let me use this landing page for example now when my pixel is being set up Running ads on this website, I might integrate some of this my call to action button to know the people that are actually clicking on the link. Now I might set this call to action button and this. Then I might also use this people that actually visited my Facebook page, my Instagram, my YouTube channel and all that or people that even watched the video on the site now when that is being integrated using pixel let's take for instance that a thousand persons visited my site and just 400 of them clicked on this call to action button the pixel will help me take records of those numbers of persons so i cannot run a conversion ad to retarget those particular persons who actually clicked on that button you get so that is what the pixel actually works for it helps keep track of people that actually visit your site not just visiting but those who actually took action in your site so that is what the pixel actually works for and you make use of that while running a conversion ad treating the topic on how to set up a profitable ad set i will explain in details about conversion ads so that is that for the data source and the pixel setup now if your website is being built using wordpress i'll be leaving a link in this description video so you can get your pixel plugin downloaded for wordpress and install on your wordpress website remind you you are going to follow the instructions and that will be done using a laptop okay not a smartphone let's create our ad account in a business manager so right here on the ad account here we have no ad account for this very business page so let's set up 
an ad account for this business page. So I'm going to add one. Now, you have three options here for you to add an ad account, request access to an ad account, and create a new ad account. Now, this is for a new business, so we want to create a new ad account. Alright, so creating a new ad account, they require you to put in the ad account name, your time, and your currency. Now, this is the area where most people always make mistakes. Now, you are expected to put your ad account name. So, let me just put Gizion Dynamic Concept. Then, your time zone should be Africa Lagos. Okay? Our normal time is GMT plus 1. So, the time zone is correct. Now, the currency is in USD. We are in Nigeria. So, if you are using a USD, if your currency is on USD, it will give you issue while running the ad. And it will also give you issue while binding your ATM card to your account. So, we're going to change this from USD. And search for... Nigeria Nera. So now our payment is on Nigeria Naira. So next. Who will this ad account be used for? Okay, I'm using it personally for my business. Then I will create my ad account now mind you if you are creating the ad account for a business client or for yeah that's a, a client someone you want to run an ad for you cannot put another business or for clients okay but for this i'm creating it for my personal self so i'll click on create and get our ad account set up Now, I want to add someone or give permission to someone who can also run ad on this very account. Now, I'm going to add myself, which is, this is my name. Then, I will come down here and give it a full access. You give it an admin access, then assign. Beautiful. So now I have successfully created my ad account for my business manager. So on this part, they were requesting us to add our payments option. Okay. So I'm going to take you guys through on how to add your payment method right away. So click on add payment. Now, on this very information aspect, you are expected to impute the, uh, your card information. But mind you, adding payment method, you need to click on Nera Payment with Mastercard slash Visa Card PU. Okay? So you tick on the PU option. If you select the other option, it's not going to work. Okay? It will decline your card. So click on the PU option, then click Next. Put in the amount that you are expected to fund your account with on this very part. Alright, so you see, all you need to do is to click on continue. Now, pay you is a gateway for payment on from Nigeria Nera card to Facebook. Okay, so it's just like the way we have Paystack, Flutter Waves and all that. So pay you is Facebook gateway. To receive NERA uh, card or NERA payment.
So click on continue. Okay, so here you are expected to input your card number, the card holder name, expiring date, which is the month and the year. Then you click on pay with these options. Okay, I will add my payment using the mobile app. So guys, this is all for setting up our business manager account. I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be running a profitable organic ad. We'll be setting up an ad and also we'll be imputing our payment method. See you guys in the next video.